Hello. Today we're reading Halloween book. A witch book. Winnie the witch. Ah! God! She has a frog in her pocket! Oh no! Ah! It's so creepy! There's a frog in her pocket! Winnie the witch lived in a black house in the forest. The house was black in the outside and black on the inside. The carpet was black. The chairs were black. The bed was black and had black sheets and black blankets. Even the bath was black. Winnie lived in her black house. With her cat Wilbur, he was black too. And that's how the trouble began. Bam, bam, bam. When Wilbur sat on the chair with his eyes open, when he could see, when he could see him, she could see his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes, see, when he couldn't see him at all. So she sat on him. Oh, oh no. Winnie the witch has broken her magical wand. When Wilbur closed his eyes, see, when he can see him, so he tripped on him. One day after nasty fall, that something had to be done. She picked up a medical one, once an abracadabra. He was bright. He was a black cat no longer. He was black green. Ah! Oh no, he's black green. And we were set on a chair when he could see him. Stepped on the floor when he could see him. Then he could see him when he stepped on the bed. But we were allowed to sleep on the bed when he came. So when he put him outside, outside in the grass, kept hurrying alone, tripping over three somersaults and fell into a rose bush. Wilbur sat outside the grass when he couldn't see him. And his eyes were wide open this time when he was free. I do one word five times and a brick dab bra. We had a red head, yellow body, a pink tail, because I'm full purple legs, but his eyes are still green. Now I can see. When he sat in the chair, when he lay on the carpet, when he crawled into grass, climbed on top of the dog's tree, or climbed on top of the dog's tree to hide. He looks ridiculous and he knew it. Even the birds laughed at him. Squack, 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 squack. Wilbur was miserable. He stayed on that tree all day and all night. But still up on the tree when he was worried. He loved the Wilbur. He him to be whispered. Then we had the idea. She waved her magic hand and abracadabra. And the black cat once again. Then Winnie waved again and again and again. And the black cat she had yellow house. With a red roof and a red door. The chairs were white with red with red and white cushions. The carpet was green with pink roses. It was blue with pink white sheets and pink blanket. The baffles are gleaming white. And now, when he can see Wilbur, no matter where he sits, that's, that's a nice ending. And at least her house is colorful now. And there's Wilbur. And there's Winnie. And there's the washing. And that's really big house. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe for more books. It's Halloween, I'm turning green. I turned to this page because do you know why? <laughs> this is the main character of this series, AJ. And he's dressed like a zombie. And I turned to this page because Look at the warning. There are ghosts in this book. Ooh, beware. This book contains scary stuff. Close your eyes. Hide under the covers. A Halloween monster is coming. coming, coming. Well, let's start this book.
My name is AJ, and I hate October 30. If you ask me, October 30 is the worst day of the year. You know why? Because I'm not allowed to eat any candy on that day. We have these giant bags of candy all over the house, and mom won't let me touch them. No candy, AJ! She always says on October 30, That candy is for the trick-or-treaters! Oh, come on, Mom. Can I just have one piece? No, you can have all the candy you want tomorrow. Yeah, but tomorrow isn't now. I hate tomorrow. Tomorrow is the worst day of the week because, because it isn't here yet. Waiting for tomorrow feels like forever. The good thing is tomorrow is also the best day of the week because the day up. Because day after the worst day of the year is the best day of the year. Halloween. You can eat all the candy you want and no one can stop you. The other reason I don't like October 30 because it's mischief night. Teenagers go around town throwing eggs, soaking up windows, ringing doorbells, and doing other mean stuff. At 7 o'clock, I went to peek out the front window to make sure our house was safe. And you'll never believe in a million hundred years what I saw outside. Our trees were covered with toilet paper. Someone's cheapied our house. Can you believe that? What a mean thing to do. And I knew exactly who did it too. Andrea Young. She's the girl with curly brown hair in my class at school. It had to be Andrea. She hates me. Last year, me and the guy to teepeed her house. Now she's getting me back. Well, two can play it. That will get him next year. Revenge will be mine. And revenge will be sweet. Oh, that's suspicious. I grabbed a bar of soap from our bathroom sink. My secret plan was about to go over to Angie's house and soap her window. That would show who's boss. No one TPs my house and get away with it. I knew mom and dad go out so late to soak up Andrea's window. I would have come with another easy day out of the house. Can I go over? Mom, can I go over to Ryan's house for a few minutes? I, I need to get our homework assignment for tonight. Okay, but why is that soup in my I may have to wash my hands. I lied. Oh, why is he... Oh, why did he teepee Andrea's house? Did so... So she, so she teepeed his tree. My hands might get dirty while I'm over there, I explained. Ryan's house is really filthy. Why don't you... Why don't... Wait, why don't you just wash your hands right here and then go to... Ryan's house. Just go away, Jay. My mom said that she rubbed her forehead with her fingers. Yes, I'd win. Get mom and dad to rub her forehead with their fingers. They'll agree to just about anything. That's the first rule of being a kid. Ryan lives down the street from me. I ran over to his house as fast as I could so I wouldn't be attacked by, by any monsters along the way. You never know when there might be monsters roaming up the sh roaming the streets. I told Ryan my secret plan to soap up Andrea's when she told me some mom needs to go to my house to get tonight to home. To the, you need to convince you need to go to my house to get tonight's homework, so some convincing but finally she rubbed but she finally rubbed her head, her her forehead with her fingers and said, said he could go. Little did he know that we were going to Andrew's house to do up a, a little mischief. Ryan and I sneaked down the street like sheep behind the kind cars and trees so we wouldn't get caught. It's super cool. I'm traveling incognito. I whispered to Ryan, what's cognito? How should I know? I said, but secret agents always travel with them. 
after walking a million hundred miles to find just Alan and Andrews. This is gonna be great when he crept up to Andrew's front window. I reached into my pocket. I took out the bar of soap, the rub soap bulbs, and sort the most oh, horrible, revolting, disgusting creature I have ever encountered in my life. Uh oh. What is it? What is it? What is it? It was Andrea. She doesn't look horrible, revolting, or disgusting, really. What are you doing over here, Arlo? Asked Andrea as she lifted up my the window. She calls me by my real name because she knows I don't like it. Uh, nothing. We were, uh, bird watching. Yeah, Ryan agreed. We were watching birds. I think I just saw a yellow bit belly slap. Sap sucker in, in that tree over there. I don't think that's a real bird. You're gonna soap up my windows, Andrea said, pointing her finger at me. Me? Don't be ridiculous. I would never do a thing, thing like that. He's, he's playing innocent. Girls know all. You would too, Arlo, would not. Would too. You went back and forth like that in the for a while. If you didn't come over here to soak my window, doing standing outside my window, what's up in your hand? Andrew demanded, Arlo, this is probably the first. This is probably the first time you've ever used soap in your life. Oh snap. Oh snap, said Ryan. She just said you're a disgusting pig. You're a dirty, disgusting pig. But not in those words. But not in those words. Are you going to take that in? AJ, take that. Are you going to take that, AJ? You TP'd my house. You TP'd my house. I did not. You did too. You went back and forth like that for a while. Andrew turned around and started shouting to our parents. Mom! Dad! Some creepy some creepy boys are outside the front lawn. Run for it! I shouted to Ryan. We bolted out of there as fast as we, we could go. And I, ne I never did get so far. I just went windows that night. It was okay. Because next morning it was Halloween. The best day of the year. At school, Mr. Grant was trying to teach us all kinds of stuff. But I wasn't paying attention. I couldn't concentrate on anything he was saying. All I could think about was candy. I couldn't wait for the bell to ring. Like the clock was going backwards. But finally it was 3 o'clock. I ran home. Oh, it's gonna make Halloween in our town, you know, so treat to four in the afternoon. Bummer in the summer! I have to wait even longer to get the candy. Me and the gang had tied up two more fits together in our costume. I had an old Star Wars costume. And my sister Amy let me use the deer costume she wore last night. So this Halloween, I was going to be. Darth Bambi! Pretty good, huh? No wonder I'm in the gifted, 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 gifted and talent. No wonder I'm in the gifted and talented program. One by one, the gang came over. Could all go trick or treating together? Who are you? Asked everyone as they came. I'm a flying robot ninja from outer space. Said Michael, who never tried to choose. I'm a mutant zombie pirate. Who would eat anything, even stuff. I'm a skateboarding hippie dinosaur. Said Alexa, who skateboards everywhere she goes. Next came Neil, who we called the nude kid. Even though he wears clothes. None of us had any idea 
Not if I had any idea what these just. I'm a flying meat and pirate. Pirate Hobo Ninja Ninja Robot Dinosaur. From said Neo from outer space. That's just too much stuff. We're traveling in called Nino, I told my mom. Ooh, you go spooky. It was an amazing thing in his room world happened. So it's the raging part because your belts ring all the time. The amazing part was what happened next. AJ answered the door, please. Meant their first trick or treat, I'll get the candy. But it wasn't our first trick or treat. And my friend Billy, who lives around the corner, Billy goes to another school. I invited him to go trick or treating with us. Part was with that when I opened the door, he was standing there in his underwear. Anything to do with underwear is hilarious. That's the first rule of being a kid. He already had a rule of being a kid. I guess it's the second one. That's your costume, Billy. My mother asked with, 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 with her hands on her hips. He made scary noises and posed like a werewolf. It was still hilarious. It's hard to look scary when you're in your underwear. The fact is, Billy goes with the underwear wolf every half of If you ask me, Billy just likes to parade around in his underwear. Billy was weird. It was a quarter to four. He couldn't go trick or treating yet, so he went to the dental my dad's computer. I want to go on YouTube and watch videos of cat playing the piano. He went to Google Maps and typed in the address of my house. He went to plan for my Some of them candy accumulation. Michael said. He moved his fingers constantly. People on Michael's be the best head over there. Then make a shirt left on the Cree elm and, and sycamores. The people on Evergreen Avenue Never had any good candy, so we should skip that street. It was a few minutes before four o'clock. Give so fill case, pillow cases. We could use to hold out candy. Billy gathered us all around like a football team in the home. Okay, dudes, what do we want? Candy! We all shouted. I can hear you. What do we want? Candy! We shouted. Shout, he, we shouted louder. When do we want it? Billy asked. Now! How much candy do we want? A lot! Where do we want it? Billy asked. In our mouths! We shouted. In our tummies! That's right. This is going to be the greatest Halloween in the history of the world! The clock, the clock in the hall struck four. It's time! We all screamed. This charged up the door. Let's go! Candy! 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 We Michael's map until we came to the first door on Maple Street. We all ran. Alexia ran the door. A bald guy opened the door. Ooh. Oob. Oob. We all shouted. Oob. The bald guy. Don't you mean boo? Oob is boo backwards, I told him. Saying stuff backwards is cool. Uh. Is it? Trick or treat! I guess you mean trick or treat. Well, what's the trick? We all looked at each other. Nobody knew any trick. Come up. I gave his candy. No question. Maybe this guy came to America a few days ago. And he didn't know how Halloween worked yet. You are supposed to give us candy. Then we leave. What if I don't have? You're supposed to play a trick on me. Well, we don't have any tricks. Well, I don't have any candy. How can you not have... Don't you know the ha rules of Halloween, mister? I asked... I gave all my candy yesterday. The guy told us I have a sweet tooth. And I couldn't resist. Just don't get Halloween. I bet that guy had plenty of candy. Just wanted to give us a hard time. I'm not sure I would want his candy anyway. I get out real fast. That guy was weird. Oob! We shouted. Then he came to the next house. Trick or treat! The hamster was wearing a knife. Shout. A big bag full of candy. Can each take one? Can I take two? Ryan asked. Okay, okay, you can take two. Can I take three? I asked. No. That lady was mean. Went up down to me. Fishfuls of Kit Kats, M&M's, Smarties, Warheads, Hershey bars. 
Three Ranchers, Lifesavers, Reese Pieces, Your Peppermint Patties, Mounds, Jelly Bay, Jelly Bellies. Well, you get the idea. My candy right away. But my can a whole bunch of candies before we start eating any of it. Clean the, although the house is a maple tree, the pine tree. My pillowcase is getting heavy. Mine too, said Neil, the new kid. I say we should eat some of our candy now. Then our pillowcase won't feel so heavy. What a genius. We should eat, um, we could eat candy and light at the same time. Mine should go, go. Get the Nobel Prize for that idea. That's a prize to give out to people who don't have bells. That's not true. That's not true. They give it to people who invent amazing stuff. They stopped to the queen. corner and took a break. I had a lazy taffy, Mars bar, Billy had a snicker, Mike had some Tootsie Rolls, and you'll have some Starbusts. Yum! I still can't get over the fact how many people can stand it. Then I have to pay for it. What a scam. We all agreed that Halloween is the best holiday of all the holidays. And this is the greatest day of our lives. By now, the streets are filled with lots of kids trick or treating. Pretty silly looking costumes. There are kids just like ghosts, zombies, and hunchbacks. I saw two kids who were really scared. One of them didn't have a head, and I've had two heads. That was weird. But right after that, I saw the most horrifying, horrifying creature in the history of the world. It was Andrea Young. Serious. Ugh, disgusting. He was walking towards us, and she was with the cry, with her cry baby and friend Emily. Just once, I wish I could go someplace without bumping into those two. I'm a witch. Andrea announced, as if we couldn't figure it out so much. Her first cheek from her pointy hat. Broomstick and ward on her nose. She spun around to make costume all its glory. You look even uglier than usual. Oh snap! said Ren. I'm a witch too, said Emily. Hoy says everything Andrea does. We're good witches, not bad witches, Andrea informed us. You should put bread on either side of you, I suggested. Then you'd be a sandwich. <laughs> Very funny, Arlo, Andrea said, rolling, rolling her. I'm leading zombie pirate. Arr! I'm the old underwear wolf. Grr. My mom told me that violent, violent costumes are inappropriate for children, Andrea said. They could lead to violent behavior. Your mom is weird, I told her. Look, my God, if you don't have to make me chit chat with you, too. And candy out there, and we want to go get it. Oh, I don't care about getting a lot of candy. I'm going to donate any candy I collect to the poor. There are a lot of children who can't afford candy. They don't have to afford candy. It's free. Yeah, I said. Go out on the streets and get it, just like us. That's not the point, Arlo. The point is to help people. Hey, why don't you join us and we'll donate all our candy to poor people? Are you crazy? Neil said. Keep all our candy. Candy, we get to know you're gonna last us all year. Yes, and Michael's trying to answer the map. We yeah, have a plan for maximum candy accumulation. That's too bad. This morning I was in the computer room at school. Mom Chris told me to make sure I trick or treat at her house. She said she would have a magical Halloween surprise that she couldn't get anywhere else in the world. What? A ma magical Halloween surprise treat that we couldn't get anywhere else in the world? I looked at Michael. Michael looked at Ryan. My Ryan looks at Alexa. Yeah. Alexia looked at Neil. Neil looked at Billy. Billy looked at me. In case you were wondering, we were all looking at each other. Let's go! We shouted. We all followed Andrea so we could go to this young magical Halloween surprise. Made a left at of Vondell Avenue, then made a right of Redman Road. She made a left at West, West 10th Street. Those streets weren't on Michael's map, nor where we were anymore. And we looked a little confused. It seemed like she didn't know where she was either. Where does Mrs. Yonkers live anywhere? In her house is around here somewhere. Maybe it's down this street, but it wasn't down that street. But it wasn't down that street. Wasn't down the next street either. Be posted by a big field. House were getting further apart.
They must have walked a million hundred miles. We didn't find Mrs. Yonkers' house. I and mean, we weren't even getting candy in it. This wasn't fun at all. The sun was going down. Soon it would be dark out. But I'm lost, she admitted. Lost? She looked like she was going to cry. Which, which way to go? And I'm scared. I'm scared. To be honest with you, I was a little scared myself. But part of me was happy that we were lost. School little miss know it all never makes any mistake. In control of everything. Now we were lost and it's all, all, all Andrew's fault. Ha! It's kind of fun to watch him freak out for a change. You know, this is just the kind of neighborhood where the Halloween monster would be hiding. Emily's gonna cry. Halloween monster, says Emily, her eyes wide open. You never heard of the Halloween monster? It's in the cave and only comes out of home. They say, so, from the chops keep in little pieces. Still, they can keep to so. Something like that happens all the time, you know. I was totally yanking Emily Chan. There was no such thing as a Halloween monster. I just made it up. Arlo! Stop trying to scare Emily, Andrea said. I'm scared, said Em. Dudes, we need to get out of here. You could be stranded in the middle of nowhere. We are for the rest of our lives. At least we have something to eat so we can survive. I think we should, should eat some candy so we don't starve to death. Didn't we eat some candy five minutes ago? I think Ryan had a good idea. Had a good idea, I said, grabbing him. Any idea that involves eating candy is a good idea. If you ask me, that's the rule. The first rule of being a kid. I'm not hungry, said Alexia. Me neither, said Mike. Well, I am, said Bree. I'm saving my candy for later, said Neil. We went back and forth like that for a while, but we as we were arguing, wanted to eat our candy. Someone, something had sneaked up behind us. Noise. I turned around. For us, with a giant secret creature that was covered in brown fur, but had to your candy or your life. It was the Halloween monster. I thought he made that up. Chapter 7 Sugar Shock. The Halloween monster was real. I thought I was gonna die. The disgusting, horrifying creature was standing away from me. Staring at me with his beady monster eyes. He was holding open a big black garbage bag. I don't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. I had to pick fast, but I was frozen. Did you hear me? The cowardly monster barked at me. Your candy or your life. It was a hard decision. If I could monster all my candy, I wouldn't have any candy left, but I still have my life. I had to ask myself, is it really? Is life really worth living without candy? Well, there's always next Halloween, I guess. And if I gave him my life, still my candy, but I wouldn't be able to eat it because I'd be dead. At stepping in the history of war, so hard. My brain, my brain hurt. Why are you making decisions? It's so complicated. How much for dumped a candy bag at how the monster hold? Grab the food kiss from the head. Don't the candy. Hey! That's my candy! But he didn't care. How many monsters stand on the streets with all the candy? This is the worst thing to happen since TV Turn Off Week. It was the worst thing to happen since National Poetry Month. It took us a few minutes to come to the monster. That was mean, Alexia. Why? Why would someone steal candy from kids? That was mean. Alexia yelled, why would someone steal candy from kids? Just be thankful you didn't chop us into little pieces. Wow. I, I didn't know how the monster was mean. That's why he was a pigment of my imagination. That's figment, dumbhead. Andrea said, pigment is what they use to make paint. They should put paint on your face. I told Andrea, what is her pup? Why can't a truck full of paint fall off Andrea's head? It, it wasn't a monster. So this one's girl, girl, 
die. Also, she's traveling in cog in the cognito. What's cognito? It's what secret engines traveled in. Traveling. We were all depressed because we had to work so get that candy and that was all gone. We had to start over again. Bummer and we would have to start over again. Bummer in the summer. We turned the the corner and went to the first house on the street. Candy dip. Then we hit another house. Soon we were back in the group. Candy left and right and pulling up pillowcases with it as with it as as we made our way down the street. You know, we start eating some candy. Now good point dude. Nobody can steal like candy for eating. I'm not eating mine, so like I can have a same mine for a rainy day. What does the weather have to do with eating candy? I'm hungry now. My mom told 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 me if you eat too much candy, you'll get sick. You could you could go you could go into a sh into sugar shock. I have I have no idea what that is, but it's not true. I know that it's not true. Nobody tells me how much candy I can eat, and I'm sh and I'm sh sure not gonna listen to a smarty pants know it all like Andrea. I stuffed a free musketeer's bar into my mouth and swallowed it in one gulp. Oh yeah said Ryan. Watch this. Ryan unwrapped two Twix bars and then shoved them into his face. It didn't even look like he chewed them. Wow! Everyone said, which is mom upside down. Oh yeah, wow is mom upside down. Then Michael took three Hershey bars. I was just took. He ripped the wrappings off, stuck them like pancakes, and they all three of them at the same time. It was amazing. No... Nobody can eat more candy than me. I took a giant butter slinger and swallowed it. Fiercely unwrapping candy bars and stuffing them into our faces as fast as he could. So Andrea and Emily, of course, those eating contests of Coney Island. My guys eat 50 hot dogs at one after the other. Think, think like it was the last day on Earth before a meteorite destroyed the planet. You should have been there. It was the greatest day in my life. And we just watched us roll their eyes and say how disgusting we were. Over three million hundred candy. I feel a little funny. I didn't want to eat, eat any more candy. I just wanted to lie down. That's when everything went black. Bum, bum, bum! Spooky music was playing, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from. The whole world around me was dark and gloom. I didn't know if I was awake or asleep. It was creepy. Where am I? I? Is this a dream or a nightmare? But no one answered. If you were in a nightmare, would somebody say that you are in a nightmare? No, probably not. Why would someone in a nightmare say you are in a nightmare? Where am I? Lots of footsteps still getting closer. Closer towards me. Help! I tried to show. Help! But no words came out of my mouth. All, all the teachers at my school, Miss Daisy, Miss Rupi, Miss Granite, Miss Hannah, Miss Mackie, Miss, Miss Small, they were all there and they were wearing weird costumes. They had hands in front of them and glassy looks in their eyes. It's like we were being attacked by zombie teachers. We're coming to get you, AJ. We're coming to get you. No! I tried to back away from them, but there was a wall behind me. The teachers were all over it. Candy rot your teeth. We must take it away from you. Candy spoils your appetite. We must take it away from you. Candy is bad for you. We must take it away from you. No, 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 don't take my candy away. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> okay. Then Miss Hannah first. Then we're gonna pour green paint on you. Wait, wait, what? Why? My favorite color. Then Miss Hannah, got the big bucket filled with green. No, stop, don't. Ah ha ha, it's Halloween, he's turning green. Teacher started chanting. It's Halloween. He's turning. He's turning green. It's Halloween. He's turning green. Help! Help! But they wouldn't stop. My whole body was covered in green paint. 
couldn't see, I couldn't hear. It was the worst dream I ever had. I hoped it was a dream anyway. The teacher stopped putting green paint on. Turned around. Jay looked frightened. Run! Turned Mr. Crouch, the principal. Quick, run away! Run away, and you'll never believe in the middle of 100 years who showed up a few seconds later. It was a group of penguins! It must have been 100 Jim. It was a bunch of little kids just like me too. Come with us, AJ. And the penguin said, Come with us to Antarctica. They looked like they were friendly, but penguins talk. Of course! Said up. In Antarctica, there are no mean teachers to steal your candy or pour green bean on you. Just enough nice. Just, just a bunch of nice, clean, so nice. Yeah. Yes, and candy. Said another pig. You can play in the snow and eat candy all day long. Really? I thought it sounds wonderful. But I can't mean every day of the year. Come with us, AJ. Come with us to Antarctica. It's right around the corner. Right here on the corner. Halloween every day. A bunch of school. Not tonight. A bunch of school. Wake up. Dude, are you okay? My Billy was kneeling up. Huh? What? Where am I? Go stand there. Miles, Ryan, Michael, and Alexia, Neil, Andrew, Emily. I checked my arms and legs. They were clean. I didn't have any green paint on me. Phew, it's just a dream. That's some kind of nightmare, dude. You were out. We thought they were I'd have to call them the ambulance. You get mumbling about. Going around the corner. The teachers at school were trying to see my candy. I told them they were walking around like zombies. All of them. When I refused to get candy, they dumped green paint on me. Guess it wasn't real paint. It was just a pigment in my imagination. That was scary. Who scared? About anything? Why would teachers run dump green paint on you? That doesn't make any sense. I, it was a dream, I told Dream. Dream. Just don't always make sense. It was horrible. There was risk to make nice penguins. They wanted me to run away to the dance to Antarctica. You should have listened to me, Arlo Andreas. I told you that eating so much candy would make you sick. Your face makes me sick. Oh, snap. Then, that was one weird dream you had, dude. Please. You should be eating so much candy. It turned out I had to stop eating so much candy. Because my pillowcase had enough except candy wrappers. I eat eaten all my candy. Would you like to I only had a few candy bars. The ones who had a lot of candy were Andra and Emily. Lucky. It was dark out. It was getting late. Soon as the dream was up, I had to go home. Bummer in the summer! If I go home without any candy, have any candy, eat tomorrow. That's right. The only candy we have in our house is Halloween candy. Same here, said Neil, the new kid. A whole year until the next Halloween. Get more candy. This was a horrible situation. What are we going to do? There was only one thing we could do. Get more candy! We took off the seat, locking every door we could find. Finished every when scratching, you know, we're, we're heading in in here. Filling fields, cake, like a bunch of squirrels, grabbing nuts so we could be able to make it for winter. At the middle of 100 minutes, we had a lot of candy. Then there was one more house on the street that we hadn't been. Ran up the front steps. Wait a minute, and just check number four. I know who lived in this house. You'll never believe who it is. I'll never believe it. Who? We should all shut it. Mrs. Yonkers! Andrew rang the doorbell. Drew much Mrs. Yonkers called. Screen door. Oh, she didn't really pop her head out too. Her screen door was hurt. Also, you wouldn't have a head. Oob! We shut. Trick or treat! Well, how y'all? Mrs. Yonkers said, Yeehaw! If you're a bit from it, so well. She's from Texas. People from Texas say y'all, yar, and varm. It's all the time. Nobody knows why. She's from Texas. Miss Young, confused church. She's a genius. It's always been so. 
She had passed giant houses real that generated electricity. Another time she invented a boat that travels with China. So her home company called NERD. New Electronic Research Development. Nerd. Why would they name why would they make it stand for a nerd? Mrs. Yonkers was wearing one of those big yellow face cheese hats. It wasn't her Halloween costume. She wears that thing all the time. Nobody knows why. She let each of us take two candy bars from a bowl. Andrea said she have a magical Halloween party that we can't get anywhere. I do, said Mrs. Yonkers. Do y'all want to see it? Yeah! We all chatted. Everyone is excited with Miss Yonkers. Let us to the kitchen. She told us she had a top secret invention that, that, that no one knew about yet. And she waved her hand dramatically and pointed to the microwave oven. Ta-da! Here it is! Uh, that's just a microwave oven. Right, it. Oh, it looks like a microwave oven, but it's actually a revolutionary to micro small expandinator. It sure looks like a microwave oven to me. What does it do? Asked me up the new kid. Let me see if I can find. For thousands of years, scientists have wondered where to go and bless hands. Does it have an edge somewhere? Or does it just go on forever and ever? What does that have to do with your machine? You'll see in 1929. Um, no, Edwin Hubble proved that the universe is spanning all the time with the microwave. 4,000 experiments. I've had to range to, 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 to accelerate the rate of expansion by altering the molecular structure and blah 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 Miss Yonkers finished talking about the universe then. So what does the micromole expandinator actually do? Oh, that's simple. Miss Yonkers told it makes the bigger. And so if you put something in the machine and turn it on, it makes the thing bigger. Super simple. Micromole expandinator. She put in micro made noise just like an oven about 10 seconds. There was a little ding sound. Miss Yonkers opened up the micromole for fast. And, and you'll never believe in, in a million hundred years what was inside. A giant pot holder. Wow, we all shouted. Which is mom upside down. You told us it was that wow is mom upside down. You told us wow is mom upside down. That's amazing, Andrew said. The universe expanded in the machine. She was right. That is, if the universe was only made up of pot holders. Well, the mic, well, the mic. Will the micro expand it work with other objects too? It will work with anything. Will it work with candy? Sure! She picked the Hershey bar. Like more. Next to that. Took out the Hershey bar. It was the size of a cereal box. Gasp! This is the greatest invention in the history of the world. She said, You should get the Nobel Prize, Miss Yonkers. Oh, I don't care about prizes. But think of how the micro can make be used. Help poor people get, get enough food to feel like better. They can help people with vision problems see tiny objects. The puzzle bit is all laminated. But see, all I get about was getting some really big candy. So we got all to take our bite sized housing candy, put them in my clothes, into a giant family sized candy. We did, and it was the coolest thing ever. When you fit, I can barely lift my, my pillowcase full of giant expanded candy. Thanks, Miss Young Guys. We all said, now remember, Magma 4000 Pen is a top secret project. Nobody knows about it yet except for us. Not worth worth about, about to anyone, okay? Our lips are sealed, Andrea said. Got to turn around when, when the most amazing in the history of the world. Uh, I put the presents from the room, not so fast. It was Halloween Monster again. We all screamed. It's the Halloween monster! That big, ugly, dirty, furry Halloween monster was standing up when we find him. He should have followed us. He must have followed us to Miss Yonkers' house. Run for your lives! shouted Neil, the new kid. But there was no place to run. There was no place to hide. We were kept in 
Emma's was on the floor freaking out for once. I couldn't blame her. We were all freaking out! Who are you? Who are you? Miss John Christie yelled at the Halloween monster. Who are ya? Miss John Christie said, Get out of my house, varmint! You didn't, I didn't have out of here! Take our candy! Take our candy! He said, Go ahead, I don't want it. Just don't dump, dump us in, in, into little pieces, please! Please! I don't want to dump candy. What do you want? I want the micro mold expandinator. No! Now! Miss Young Creek grabbing your rounds about the micro mold This is my mansion. But soon it will be mine. I think I can build a larger version of the sheet. Dang me. It's all gold coins. It's all gold manhole covers. I can Car and turn into the SUV. I can to micro fan. And super size myself. And now I can. A giant with this technology, I could rule the world! Ah, 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 ah. Well, that evil cackling laugh gives up crazy. And anytime someone said they want to rule the world and let out an evil, an evil cackling laugh, you know they're nuts. Get out of here before I call the police, you vomit! Tell me, so. She reached for her phone with one first hand over the micro mo. More four thousand expandinator," said the Halloween monster. "Never!" Said he. "Don't make this difficult, lady. Just give me the machine, and no one will get hers. No way! You heard her!" I yelled at the Halloween monster. "Get out of here! She's not gonna give it to you." "Oh well," he said. "They just uh, don't take it." He reached out to grab the micro more four thousand expandinator from Miss Yonker's hand. She held on tight. The Halloween monster got hold in the microwave. Halloween expanded it. Miss, Miss Yonkers grabbed it back into them wrestling on the floor and yelling at you. Watching grown-ups wrestle and cool. I've got to see it live and in person. You should have been there. And then suddenly, the most amazing thing in history will happen. The men burst out front of the were wearing police. Freeze, dirtbag! They hollered at, at the Halloween monster. Cops on TV always yell, free, dirt bag, and bad guys. Nobody knows why. Everyone froze, but not really. It would have to be really cool in Miss Yonka's house for everyone to freeze. Step away from the time machine, mister. From the machine, mister. Guys, just to put it as a policeman. Put your hands in the air. Stepped away from the mic. Spanned in it. Put their hands up. Hey, those are great costumes. I said, never seen a trick or treater dressed up as a policeman before. They're not dressed up as, as policemen. Men are low. They're real policemen, said Andrea, rolling her eyes. Oh, I knew that. My name is Officer Harwell. It's Officer Harwell. This is Officer Trotta. We got a report to those men going up time. Candy for kids. We followed this agenda. I didn't steal any candy. He hollered, the, has this man been stealing candy? Said Officer Trotta. Yes, we shot it. Yes, we shot it. He stole it from us. Has this man been stealing? You're under arrest, said Officer Harwell. The right to remain silent. Anyone who say will be used against you. Blah 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 You went on like that for a while. Remove the head of your costume, sir, said Officer Trotter. We need to make sure you don't have a concealed weapon in there. Because you want to see your identity. As he started to take the head of his costume, we were all on pins and needles. Well, not really on um, pins and needles, it was hurt. But it was really exciting. There was electricity in the air. Well, not really. If there was electricity in the air, then we would have, when the we would have, would have been electrocuted. And how many more reached up and moved his head? Never believe in a million hundred years who was inside that costume. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, okay, so, so. But you have to read the next chapter to find out. So, na 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 boo boo on you. If you read a bunch of my weird school books, you probably think you know the trick of Halloween monster. You probably think Smitty Cuts, our school principal, playing a trick on me in the gang. 
You think he thought it's Carvel's the president of our board of education. He's a mean guy, or it could be Dr. Spence is our security guard. Maybe you think he's Mr. Docker, our science teacher. Well, you're wrong. He's not any of those people. And it's not George Washington or Chris Columbus or Lady Gaga either. Nice try, though. Slowly dialing all through the head. You hardly believe who's inside. Mayor Hubble! Everyone shut. Hubble used to be the mayor of our town. Then he was a race. Fake gold and silver on our duck that our groundskeeper, Mr. Burke, hid in the playground. He sent to jail, but he got some time off for good behavior. But he sent to jail again, and he got just and stealing signs from people's lawns. I thought you were in jail, said Mrs. Young. Uh, I got time off for good behavior. You're, you're supposed to be a role model for young people. Scott was going around doing the camp and trying to take up and trying to take over the world. You should be ashamed of yourself. The police, the police slapped handcuffs and Mayor Hubble and, st and started dragging him away. Wait, Mr. Mr. Hubble, I can explain. Wait. Let's hear it. I don't know why you want to steal my invention so badly. I'll tell you to do. Mike. Barbara is Edwin Hubble. My grandfather was Edwin Hubble. For a moment, there was silence. You could hear a pin drop. Who's Edwin Hubble? I thought, yeah. He's the guy who proved the universe expanded. Weren't you listening, Arlo? Your face wasn't with the guy who proved the universe is expanding. Andrew said, Weren't you listening, Arlo? Your face wasn't wasn't listening. I said when I was a little boy, Grandpa told me a series about the universe. Right? He said something that he would build a machine up the process and make things bigger. But he never did. For years I tried to build such a my it was my lifetime goal, but I couldn't do it. Then it's too late. You made the machine. You get all the glory. My life is ruined. Ah. What a cry, baby. That guy is worse than Emily. Take him away, boys. Yonkers told him. Take him away, boys. Mrs. Yonkers told the policemen. Everybody started guilty because the mayor said, but, well, it sounds just like but, except it's missing a T. But, but, T in but. Do you pronounce the T in but? No, you do not. I'm not a crook! My hubble yelled, yelled at the as the policeman dragged him away. I'm an honest man. I'll be back. I promise you that I'll be back. Well, that's pretty much what happened. It was a weird Halloween night, that for sure. We all piled into Mrs. Yonkers' minivan, gave us a ride home. The police took Mayor Hubble away in the back of a patrol car. Maybe we'll go to get for good this time. Maybe my mom let me eat on October 30 next year. Maybe I'll find out who TP'd my house. Maybe me, Ryan and I will go bird watching. Maybe we'll find out what a cognito is. Maybe Billy will stop parading in the, around in his underwear. Maybe some talking penguins will take me to Antarctica with them. Maybe I'll take, maybe I'll paint some pictures with the pigments of my imagination. Maybe grown-ups will stop saying blah blah blah, will stop saying blah 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 all the time. Maybe Mrs. Yonkers will win the Nobel Prize for inventing, inventing the micro mole for thousand expand. Maybe I can convince my parents that the universe ex is expanding. They'll increase my allowance, but it won't be easy. Well, that's the end of the book. Don't. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories. Chicken Licken. Oh, I love this story. Said, hey, you should, you should read it with me. Anyway, let's read. And we have this map of a really pretty page. There's a mermaid and sea, and there's a cottage and a city here and there's the, the place where the gingerbread man is set 
and this is where Sleeping Beauty is set, absolutely. And and it's just basically fairy tale kind of stuff. Oh, and there's Rapunzel with her tower. This book belongs to you and me and and everyone in the JBL family. Chicken Licken. Once upon a time, there was a little chicken called Chicken Licken. One day, an acorn fell from the tree and hit Chicken Licken on the head. Oh, an acorn. Did it hurt her? I mean, it wouldn't hurt me, but she's a chicken. So it must have hurt her a little bit. Chicken Licken thought that the sky was falling down, so she ran off to tell the king. Mm, well, that's a very mm, fantastical. Mm, that's a very fantast, fan, fantastical conclusion. Mm, I, mm, I would say something fell on my head. I would look on the ground and see what fell on my head. That's. Mm. And, the, and literally, the acorn is right next to her feet. How can she not see it? On the way, Chicken Licken met Henny Penny. Good morning, Chicken Licken, said Henny Penny. Why are you going in such a hurry? Oh, Henny Penny, said Chicken Lickle. The sky is falling down, and I'm on my way to tell the king. Animals of kings? What animal is it? A lion? A tiger, a deer, whatever animal. <laughs> then I, or maybe it's even a human. Then I better go with you, said Henny Penny. So Chicken Licken and Henny Penny hurried off to, to tell the king that the sky was falling down, even though the sky was not falling down and it was just an acorn. On their way, Chicken Licken and Henny Penny meant Cocky Lucky. Met Cookie Lucky. Good morning, Chicken Licken, said Cookie Lucky. Where are you two going in such a hurry? Oh, Cookie Lucky, said Chicken Licken. The sky is falling down and we are on our way to tell the king. Once again, the sky is not falling down. The sky is perfectly fine. Then I'd better go with you, said Cookie Lucky. So Chicken Licken, Henny Penny and Cookie Lucky Hurried on, tell the king the sky is falling down. Even though we know the sky is not falling down. On their way, Chicken Licken and Hen Penny and Cookie Lucky met Ducky Lucky. Good morning, Chicken Licken, said Ducky Lucky. Where are you going in such a hurry? Oh, Ducky Lucky, said Chicken Licken. The sky is falling down and we are on our way to tell the king. Then I better go with you, said Ducky Lucky. So Chicken Licken, Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky and Ducky Lucky hurried on to tell the king that the sky was falling down. Even though we know the sky is not falling down. On their way, on the way, Chicken Licken, Henny Penny and Cocky Lucky and Ducky Lucky meant Drakey Lakey. Good morning, Chicken Licken, said Drakey Lakey. What's a drakey? Where are you going? Where are you all going in such a curry? Oh, drakey lady, said Chicken Licken. The sky is falling down and we are on our way to tell the king. Then I better come with you, said Drakey Lakey. So Chicken Licken, Henny Penny, Cookie Lucky, Ducky Lucky and Drakey Lakey hurried on to tell the king that the sky was falling down even though the sky was not falling down. Has anyone stopped to question this? No. On their way, Chicken Licken, Henny Penny, and Cookie Lucky, and and Cookie Lucky, Ducky Lucky, and Ducky Lucky, and Drakey Lucky met Goosey Lucy. Good morning, Chicken Licken. Said Goosey Lucy. See, where are you going to in such a hurry? Oh, Goosey Lucy! Said Chicken Lucky. The sky is falling down and we are on our way to tell the king. Then I better 
come with, go with you, said Goosey. Even though the sky is not falling down. So Chicken Licken, Henny Penny, Cookie Lucky, Ducky Lucky, and Drakey Lakey, Drakey Lakey, and Goosey Lucy hurry on to tell the king that the sky was falling down. Even though the sky was not falling down, has anyone stopped to investigate? Is anyone even going to stop and investigate this? Oh. On their way, Chicken Licken, Honey Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Drakey Lucky, and Goosey Lucy meant Turkey Lucky. Good morning, Chicken Licken, said Turkey Lucky. Why are you all going in such a hurry? Oh, Turkey Lucky! The sky is falling down! And we are on our way to tell the king! Then I better go with you, said Turkey Lucky. Ugh. Why aren't they just going to see? Why don't why don't they see the sky? Why don't they just see? Look on the floor. If the sky, if there is a piece of the sky on, then the sky is falling. If there's not a piece of the sky, then the sky is not falling. Oh god! So chicken, licken, henny, penny, cook. Cookie Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Drakey Lucky, Goosey Lucky, and Turkey Lucky hurried on to tell the king that the sky is falling down, even though the sky was not falling down. On their way, Chicken Lickin, Henny Penny, Cookie Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Drakey Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lucky met Foxy Loxy. Good morning, Chicken Lickin, said Foxy Loxy. Where are you all going in such a hurry? Oh, but look at the chicken. The sky is falling down and we are on the way to find the king. I know where to find the king. Young, you have read better all follow me. So, Chicken Licken, Penny Penny, Cookie Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Breaky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lucky followed Foxy Loxy. Foxy Loxy led them straight into their d his den, where his wife and little foxes were waiting for their dinners. The foxes ate Chicken Licken. Honey Penny, Cookie Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Drake, Drake, Dra Drakey Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lucky for their dinners. Oh, no. Well, that's what, well, that's what they get for not, for not looking and seeing, for not looking and seeing the sky was not falling down. So Chicken Licken, I found the king to tell him that he thought the sky was falling down. The end. Well, that's the end. I hope you liked the story. Even if they, even if the, the birds were eaten, but they were only eaten because of their foolishness. If only, if only Chicken Licken had had investigated, then none of them would have been eaten, oh. and they would have, and they wouldn't have wasted time. Well, anyway, like and subscribe for for more books, scratch projects, and shorts. Mega Mo. Once upon a time, there was a witch named Meg. I thought the witch was called Meg. She got up to bed to dress for the spell party. Ooh, spell party. I love parties. Dun 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 dun. Let's get ready to go to the party. She put on her black stockings, her big black shoes, her long black coat and her tall black hat. La 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 moggy, mama mama. She went down, she went down these stairs to cook breakfast. In, in the kitchen lay her big striped cat moth. He was fast asleep. Clip clip, clip clip, clip clip, clip clip, clip clip. <laughs> She trod on the monk's tail. <coughs> she took her out of his, She took out the cupboard three eggs, bread, cocoa, a milk, 
A keeper and jam. She put it all in a cauldron and stirred it up. Mmm, yum yum. There was plenty of breakfast for everyone. Mmm, yum yum. At one o'clock, she got her broomstick, her cauldron, and a spider, and flew up the chimney with mold. And in the sky, she, she met her friends going to the party. Jess, Bess, Tess, and Chris. Rhyming. They launched on the hill in the moonlight to make their spell. Each of them had bought something to put in the cauldron. This is what they put in: a frog. Ew, a beetle. Ew, a worm. Ugh, a bat. Ew, a spider. Ah, abracadabra. They stirred the cup, chanted their, sp their spell. Frog in a bat, bat in a hat. Slap, crackle, pop, and fancy that. Boom! There was a flash and a bang. Something had gone wrong. Bess, Bess, Jess, Tess and Krebs all changed into mice and Mog chased them. I'll have to change them back. Next Halloween. Goodbye. Sure. Why didn't you change them back anyway? Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe.